Inconsistency is the word that describes Chelsea best at this moment in time because you don't know what type of Chelsea you will get when we're going into matches. We can play really good football. We can even play like a Sunday league team. And now in Pochettino's return to Tottenham Hotspur after we have our confidence shattered against Brentford in the weekend, the people is questioning whether we have a chance to even win or even get a draw and my answer to that is both yes and no if we putting up a performance like we did against Arsenal for those 75 minutes whilst we avoiding slipping towards the end and can hold on to a lead I definitely believe we can go and win against Tottenham Hotspur of course it's not impossible job to do but it's going to be really really difficult because they are unbeaten so far in the league. If we play like we did against Arsenal and if we continue the form we have built up on that little mini run where we had against Burnley and Fulham and every player is showing up tonight that's why I believe we can get three points. If we play like we did against Brentford, uh, this night can turn out to be uh, a real painful one. I believe we have to go in with the right mentality, a real fighting mentality. We have to go in 50-50 duels, we have to go into 100% in tackles, in air duels. Uh, have to be brave when we're pressing and make interceptions. We have players that is really good at doing that. Also have to help each other. Track back when you're losing possession, not just jog and walk. You have to run back and help your teammates. And uh, that's, why, that's why I think tactically uh, defending in a 4-4-2 can help us. Since we're then doubling up or being at least 2 versus 2 against Spurs fullbacks and wingers. So we're not uh, leaving our fullbacks alone against Kulusevski and Richarlison or Son. Depends who is playing out wide. Uh, but the thing with Spurs is that they're playing with inverted fullbacks at times where they're occupying the home spaces in the middle and therefore I think it's also good we're having two defensive midfielders there. What Tottenham also likes to do is control possession. Not like in Conte where they were defending and going on counters. Now they are controlling the game, possession, going against us and that sort of plays in favor against, uh, for us. Because we've seen against Liverpool, Arsenal, we're playing good when teams going against us, Brighton as well. And uh, I think that can help us, but we can't allow Spurs to control the game too much. We have to take control of the game too. We need to make sure we're also getting the first goal because that will be key to getting a confidence into the players. I want to see a really strong first 20 minutes and that will help us uh, boosting confidence, getting momentum into the game and uh, we should not only control the game, we can also defend but when we're winning possession I think we should also go on direct counter attacks on our fast wingers. It's one thing that makes Chelsea really dangerous. And that is when we are underdogs, when no one expects us to win. And just look through history when we have been the underdogs. We usually coming up and stepping up towards them when nobody is expecting us to get something out from a game. Let's get into the team news and my personal predicted lineup. And we still got seven injuries as we know. Mudrik is still back in full training. Reese James and Bader Schiller had a 60-70 minute spell uh, in uh, the week against uh, Blackburn. All three are in contention uh, to start this game. So I will continue with a 4-3-3. But when we're defending we are shaping a 4-4-2. Sanchez continuing goal, had a better game uh, against uh, Brentford and Blackburn in my opinion. In Arsenal he made that error, but uh, he's continuing goal. Now the question is, in terms of the backline, is Reese James ready to start? If he is ready, he has to start without a doubt. If he can only play 60-70 minutes, so be it. But he is our captain, our best player. He will have a huge influence out there on the pitch. And even though he's been injured out for a long time. Even if it's just a half Reese James. And he's not full sharp. He's still so dangerous out there. 
And uh, he will put respect uh, on Tottenham's uh, team. They will be afraid of Rhys James and uh, they definitely think he should start if he's ready because he makes the difference out there. And uh, on the left back uh, position I will continue with Marco Corella. I want to see natural fullbacks. If he doesn't perform or if we're leading and we're struggling defensively we can switch to three centre backs maybe. And a centre back pairing I will have Levi Colwell together with Thiago Silva. I think the Sassi he has gotten caught out easily lately in the last two games. And he's very slow so I don't really trust him against the uh, Union Zone. Therefore I prefer Levi Colwell and Thiago Silva and they both are really strong ball playing defenders. That can help us uh, making some sort of... Uh, long balls or behind the Tottenham's backline on our fast wingers if we had the opportunity to do so. And in the midfield I continue with Conor Gallagher who will run like a Kante, be aggressive all over the place, make interceptions, press, just be a nightmare in the midfield for the Tottenham uh, players. We have Caicedo and Enzo Fernandez next to him. And what's so good with Caicedo and Enzo is that they continue building chemistry with each other. They slowly looking better together and Enzo's passes will be so key. Uh, so if he also has the opportunity to go forward and enter in the final third, he should do that with Gallagher too. And as uh, my wingers, this time I honestly want to put Raheem Sterling to the right hand side this time because... I honestly think this season he's performing better as a right winger than as a left winger. And I also want to see Sterling continue taking the ball and driving past players, accelerate past them and that's how we can create chances as well. And as a left winger I want to see Mudrik back in the starting eleven. This will be a similar eleven that we saw against Arsenal. And we need his uh, dangerous pace to go and have that movement behind the Tottenham's backline because they are playing pretty uh, high up with their backline. And then uh, I would put Jackson uh, on the bench. He can be a substitution, but I think his confidence uh, has dropped massively. He's been missing chances. Uh, so I will have Lee, uh, Palmer as my false nine actually and that means we can uh, overload the midfield, we can overload the wide areas, the Tottenham centre backs will have no one to really mark which would be pretty tricky, Palmer can also withdraw some of the centre backs and therefore there will be spaces for Mudrik and Sterling to go behind where Thiago Silva and so Levi Colin can put passes behind the back line directly. I mean, if one pass is accurate and gets through Tottenham's defense and Mudrik and Sterling is through on goal, I mean, then we're having literally 1-0 in the bag. Let me know what you would change in this lineup. If there's something I miss, let me know. As I said, Reese James has to start if he's ready. will be key for us. Ens will be key for us. As I said, I want to see a natural fullbacks because I think we're looking more fluent, uh, fluid in the play. When we're building out from the back, when we're progressing further up the pitch, etc. Uh, Palmer is in stunning form lately. Hopefully he can uh, continue that into this game. I mean, against Arsenal, he was so good. He was all, he was also good actually against Brentford in the weekend, even though we were disappointed overall as a team. In terms of my score prediction, if we are playing like we did against Arsenal, but the whole game, every player is stepping up, Pochettino is helping out there. We're getting the first goal. I believe we can go on a 2-1 victory. But is that really going to happen? I like to believe that. Uh, if we're not playing up to that level. I honestly see uh, Tottenham getting the 2-1 victory instead. And if you made all this far to the end of the video. Make sure you like this video. Subscribe to my page and hit that notify bell down below. You also have my socials in the description. And I'm still dreaming that Reese James will score an absolute banger from 30 meters.